And at the time, of course, this was considered a state of the arts sports arena, but tonight the Sacramento Kings are again saying their final farewell to what was originally known as Arco 2. And we just couldn't resist well, dusting off some old footage from back in the day. CBS 13's Tony Lopez brings us this special two part road tour. And there it was, the first Kings game ever to be played at Arco 2, current Sleep Train Arena. Sacramento took on Seattle that night in November of 1988. And who cares if they lost by 22 points? As our report from that game told everyone, all eyes weren't exactly on the court. Actually, the star player tonight was the new arena itself, especially the new Space Age AstroVision electronic scoreboard. Yes, that 28-foot-long scoreboard was considered state-of-the-art back then. And it wasn't the only standout feature, as then-Kings owner Greg Lukenville told us just days before they were getting ready to open. So there's about 20 features in this building that have never been done before any place in the world. Just what were some of those? And it was crazy, but it was just so full of adrenaline. It was exciting. Greg Van Dusen was the executive vice president in charge of all arena operations back in the day. This was Greg then. Greg, you open in eight days. Clock's ticking away. Are you going to make it? Is it that long? Mm -hmm. oh, that's easy. Sure, we'll make it. These days, he still holds on to the signed game ball from that first tip-off at Arco 2 with pride. Yeah, well, you've got uh, LaSalle Thompson, uh, Rodney McRae, Derek Smith. Now, what about some of those breakthrough touches never before seen in new arena construction? I think the most important at that time is it was the first stadium or arena built in the United States that had an equal number of women's bathroom uh, facilities as men's. It was 50-50, exactly. What wasn't 50-50? There was no shared cost of arena construction. Van Dusen reminds us Arco 2, as we take a look from the air as it was going up, was built at a cost of $40 million without a penny of government money. The highway interchanges leading into the Natomas location were even privately funded. One observation from most that was right on the money, this was a game changer for the entire Sacramento area. It'll serve the people well, it'll have all kinds of sports, and it'll put Sacramento on the map because everybody is coming here now looking at this arena, and uh, they're, they're all amazed. And they were. What do you think of this new arena? I think it's real nice, big, and looks like you can see from just about everywhere. It's, it's fantastic. It's really nice. Oh, God, this is the greatest thing that ever happened to Sacramento. Are you kidding? <laughs> We're not kidding when we tell you Arco 2 came this close to not being ready for its first big event, the day the circus came to town. Oh, man, the circus is in town! What was that like? And what other big events played out inside this celebrated structure? Those answers and more as we continue our road tour, a look back at Arco Arena.